What's going on, E Nation Army? This is Ian Perez 1227 here. Welcome back to yet another diecast review. And I got this diecast, I don't know, like almost two weeks ago or something like that. Yeah, a week and a half ago. I just haven't gotten around to review it because of work and trying to find time to do this diecast review. Working on uh, racing stories. So, yeah. With that being said, let's begin. So, this diecast review is going to be on Lewis Hamilton's 2022 uh, Mercedes AMG F1 W13E performance from uh, the Mercedes Formula 1 team. And I tried to do this diecast review, but I don't know. It just didn't work out. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, let's go over the box. You got 3 plus ages, 143 Virago Mercedes AMG Formula 1 W13E performance. AMG Mercedes Petronas Formula 1 team race. On this side, you got George Russell, number 63. George Russell and his signature, Burago. Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team. On the back of the box, you got Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team, 143 race diecast metal with plastic parts. And you got George, no, not George, Lewis Hamilton's car right there. Barago made in China. And on this side, you got Barago, Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton signature, number 44, Lewis Hamilton. You got the hologram, you got the Mercedes logo once again. On top of the box, since it's dustied up, um, you got Barago 143, diecast metal with plastic parts, Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula 1 team, and race. On the, on, on the under parts, uh, you got uh, barcode and all these things that I don't want to go over. So, with that being said, let's go open the box, shall we? Oh. Alright. Thankfully, I didn't rip this. So yeah. Oops. All right, here it is. This is Lewis Hamilton's 2022 Mercedes car. This, the return of the silver arrows. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. Trying to get this set up. So with that being said, let's begin. All right, so let's start off on the left side. You got Petronas, and you got this Petronas logo, which reminds me of Nico Rosberg's number six. I don't know, when Nico's racing, I used to think this was Nico's number font, but it wasn't, and there's Mia. Hello, Mia. And then you got Team Viewer, number 44, Petronas. All right, so what did I leave off? So yeah, the Petronas logo right here, it, it reminded me of Nico Rosberg's, um, it, I thought this was like Nico Rosberg's font back in the day when he was in Mercedes. So yeah. Uh, anyway, you got AMD, you got E-Performance, number 44, Petronas Primax, iNeos, and on the Halo, you got CrowdStrike, Mercedes, iNeos, Charlie and me are messing around. On the headrest, you got two CrowdStrike logos, team view, uh, two Team Viewer logos, and some other logos I can't read. On the mirror, you got Petronas Spiritrum. I forgot. Oh, no, Synthium. And on the front, you got Petronas Synthium, number 44. You got the Petronas logo, FTX, and thank goodness, the Sam Friedman guy, Bankman, whatever the hell his name is. He's, he's in prison now for 25 years. Anyway, you got a CODIS, CrowdStrike, Pirelli, Mercedes, two Team Viewer logos, two Petronas logo, two Cynthium logos, iNeos on one side of the front wing plate, and you got IWC on the other side. You got F0, Pirelli, you got the blue tires. And then you got Petronas, you got FTX, unfortunately FTX. So... And on the rear wing, you got iNeos. And I think that's about it for this car. So, yeah. Of course, um, obviously Mercedes is iconic for the silver arrows. But to be honest, when they brought the black arrows livery from 2020 to 2021, honestly, I became a bigger fan of those cars. Like, I prefer those than the silver arrows, in my opinion. And they did bring back the Black Arrows in 2023, but it wasn't as good as 2020, 2021. And now 2024, I think, what, they're both Silver Arrows and Black Arrows, some, something like that? I don't know. I don't remember. So, yeah. 
Got mainly silver arrows, that's the silver colors. Got some black, got some light blue, some blue on the front wing plates and rear wing. Or, I mean, front wing, sorry, uh, not, not plate. Um, so Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes, an insane duo uh, from 2014 to now, no, 2013, and then they peaked from 2014 to 2021. And unfortunately, they've fallen off in 2022, 2023, and this year because they can't figure out the current regulations like Max Verstappen and Red Bull Racing. Not only that, Lewis Hamilton is going to go to Ferrari next year. So this is Lewis's final year in Mercedes. I don't know how they're going to do. Probably finish some, probably a couple of podiums, I guess. But man, Mercedes is just not good. But yeah, Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes, they've done... A great job, an amazing historical job, but now it just ran its course if you think about it. Either way, I know domination from the one is terrible, and I know, I know it's boring. Like, domination doesn't really bother me, it's just a thing that exists. But I grew up during the Hamilton um, domination, I not grew up, like, I mainly started watching when I, I don't know, like, I watched some F1 races like 2012 and all that, but 2016 was when mainly I got through sport. It was when Mercedes was at its peak and dominating the sport. And I, honestly, as soon as Max Verstappen won the championship, I'm like, yep, he's going to be dominating the sport now. And yeah, that's just Formula 1. The Verstappen era we're in, the Hamilton era, Michael Schumacher era. Just dominations happen to sport. And yeah, Lewis Hamilton Mercedes... It was fun while it lasted. Let's see what they do in 2024. And so this is going to do it for this diecast review. I just want to say thank you all so much for, for watching this diecast review. This is the Impress 1227. Have a good one. Goodbye, everybody.